We're now less than six months from Election Day, and some polls show that Americans believe the country is more divided than ever. That party division has been growing for a long time. And in Palm Beach County, you saw it play out firsthand 24 years ago. I-Team Chief Investigator Mike Magnoli has been looking back on the election recount of 2000, the hanging chads, the bungled butterfly ballot, and the rest of the circus. This morning, he brings us his next installment of Recount County, where he spoke with a Palm Beach County native who sued the federal government to demand a voting day do-over. Here we have presidential candidates Al Gore and George W. Bush on the debate stage. In 2000, things were a lot different, but one of the things that was the same, two parties were calling the shots. The Presidential Debate Commission must be nonpartisan by law. It is not nonpartisan. It is bipartisan. It is 100% Republicrat. All Republicans, all Democrats. Pat Buchanan, running as a Reform Party candidate, filed a lawsuit because he was not allowed to debate with the two mainstream fellas. Here's his lawsuit, but this isn't the case we're interested in. The case we're interested in, filed in Palm Beach County, was over a major mishap down here. I did not want to vote for a man named Pat Buchanan, who I knew nothing about. I wanted to vote for a man named Joe Liebman, who I know personally and liked. Joe Lieberman was Gore's running mate, and he might have been the first ever Jewish vice president. He means Al Gore's ticket. If every vote counts, if you believe in that concept, then these people's votes not only didn't count, but went against them. Andre Fladell is a political activist and often a community spokesman for some of the largest condo complexes in Palm Beach County. Truckloads of senior citizens know Andre. They like him and they trust him, and they call him when they need things. At about 2 o'clock on Election Day 2000, Andre says his phone was ringing off the hook. Elderly pals who were concerned and ticked off because the ballots in Palm Beach County were wonky that year. Something totally new. They had never seen it before. And they came with an instruction sheet for how to vote. Directions that, frankly, didn't make a lot of sense. Why weren't the two main party candidates on top? And shouldn't the top spot on the ballot be the candidate from the party of the sitting governor? That state law seasoned voters knew that. The more buddies that Andre heard from, the more he started to think about his own vote earlier in the day. I think I voted in the second punch hole. I didn't even know there was a third punch hole. And that feeling of having made a voting booth boo-boo, that prompted Andre to call a lawyer friend. He says they worked all day and all through the night. The next morning, the lawsuit was filed. With the presidency hanging in the balance, the race could come down to Palm Beach County. This injunction filed late tonight by a circuit court judge temporarily puts on hold the Palm Beach County vote. The reason? Voter confusion over the butterfly ballot. It violates Florida law. Uh, Florida law clearly sets forth the manner in which a ballot is to be constructed and set forth. I really wanted to win, and I wanted to win for the right reasons. And I wasn't doing it for the, for the campaigns as much as I was doing it for the people that I knew, because I knew the presence of all these different condos and clubs, and, you know, they're my friends. The remedy Andre sought, a revote in Palm Beach County, a do-over of Election Day. That did not happen. But recounting the votes, yes, that was happening, by machine, then manually, and the world was watching. In the end, Bush won. 24 years later, Andre reflects about the loss of civility this kick started. The county split. People all over the country split, never to return. They got a dislike for each other that used to just be, became less tolerable. I think it affected the country in a very negative way. I think it became the beginning of an unhealthy split that's been getting wider every year. I think that at the moment I was doing it, you just, I was caught up in trying to prove that I knew exactly what I was talking about. He did know what he was talking about. Later on, there was an independent review about what happened here in Palm Beach County. Buchanan got more than 3,000 votes, but of those, more than 2,000 were supposed to be for Gore. Just moments ago, I spoke with George W. Bush and congratulated him on becoming the 43rd president of the United States. And we've got more from Recount County next week, same time. 
when I interview a woman whose office was commandeered by Bush's legal brigade. I'm Mike Magnoli, CBS 12 News. Time right now is 550. It's still ahead this morning. Demolition begins on the wreckage of the Key Bridge in Baltimore as preliminary findings about the collapse are set to be released. We have that story coming up next on CBS 12 News this morning.